Today we will be going over the horse and cat stance in the six and a half point pole form. Hey, welcome to Practice Wing Chun, where we discuss Wing Chun and answering training related questions. My name is Edgar, and this is episode 59.5, because this is essentially a follow up episode of 59, and I just want to go over the forms that I'll be practicing to train for six and a half point pole form. And uh, thank you all for. Uh, the ones that left comments and suggested any tips to help with improving my stance and just like getting through it. Uh, so thank you guys again, really appreciate it. So give this a try too. If you're not to that level, just try to see how you feel. It is hard. Okay, you, well, I feel it instantly in the quads. But um, yeah, give it a try. Even if you haven't gone up to the formula, just to see how it feels because it's once again the only time where the form i mean the stance is different from my wing chun stance with more relaxed hips in uh, chest back but the regular horse stance is wider lower chest out and um, hips in right so it's very different from what we're normally in so Let's get right into it. So we get right into the horse stance. So together, open up three times, straight down. Now I'm gonna do my best to hold this position, but it's really difficult for me. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is once I feel like I reach my limit, I'm gonna switch to the cat stance. And of course, I wanna try to stay leveled so that my head doesn't go up and down as I shift. So let's go into the cat stance facing my left. And to get into this position, I try to uh, lead with the other leg to get back in position. And for me to turn this way, I shift first. So I'm shifting to face that way. Majority of my weight is on the back leg. So I already feel like I'm kind of moving up and down. So I'm gonna try this time to keep leveled. So you're gonna see me struggle, but I'm gonna do my best to stay in my position. Legs are burning. Try my best to just breathe it out, but it is on fire. Okay, back in position. All right, I think I'm at my limit. So once again, I'm just working on it and one of the things I do is, once I feel I'm at my limit, I switch positions. I'm not going to try to stay in one like horse stance position when I can just shift around and just keep shifting around. Now, why do we have these three positions? The horse stance is the main stance when you get into the pole, right? And when you get into cat stance, that's that position, but you're always back in the horse stance, which is why the horse stance is the primary uh, uh, stance in the pole form. But the cat stance are just as important because they're for maneuvering and also to move around. 
so that all your weight is on your back leg when you're on your cat stands. Um, so I'm going to continue working on my stances and work on pushing through the pain. Anyway, uh, next episode will be a full episode 60. Um, today is just like a quick episode to kind of show you uh, my progress. Um, it's still very incremental. It's uh, still very tough for me, but I'm going to keep pushing through and keep working on it. So until next time, keep